Good day class. So we have two topics to discuss for today, namely relations on sets and the operations on sets. So let's have first the relations on set. Here are the objectives. To illustrate equal and equivalent sets, describe and illustrate universal sets and subsets, and lastly, use Venn diagrams to represent sets and subsets. So let us define first what equal set means. So two sets, A and B, are said to be equal if they have exactly the same elements. So here is an example of an equal set. As you can see here, class, we have the set C and M that has elements heart and circle and this trapezoid. Okay, Same as with our set M, though this was just ordered differently okay still they have the same or equal set next is what we call the equivalent sets so two finite sets a and b are said to be equivalent if they have the same number of elements or the same cardinality okay it doesn't have to be exactly the same elements the only important thing is that they have the same number of elements or cardinality example our set s and v as you can see the figures shown are different but if we find the cardinality of each set we would know that set s has a cardinality of six just like that of set v therefore these two sets s and v are equivalent Let's now move on to this figure. Okay, as you can see here, we have numbers 1 to 10. Okay, this one is what we call the universal set or simply the universe denoted by U that contains all the elements being considered in a given situation. So here we can write that as U equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, meaning to say this is the set that contains all the elements in a given situation. Now we have what we call subset. When we say subset, for example, set A is a subset of B written as like this. If and only if every element of A is also an element of B. Take note of that. Again, every element of A is also an element of B. For example, our A is B or the set A is A, B, and C. And the set B is A, B, C, D, and E. So here A is a subset of B since all of the elements in A which are A, B, and C are in our set B. Okay. However, we cannot say that B is a subset of A, right? Because here, our set B, the elements are A, B, C, D, E. By looking at the definition, it should be all the elements of B are in A. But definitely or obviously, it's not. Therefore, B is not a subset of A, but A is a subset of B. Next is what we call the proper subset. So here, set A is said to be proper subset of B, written as A is a pro proper subset of B if and only if every element of A is also an element of B. That was the definition before for the subset. How however, class, we have here an addition or an additional definition. It also contains or that B contains at least one element that is not in A. Okay, let's see this example. Our set A here, the elements are A, B, and C. Okay, and our set B, the elements are A, B, C, D, and E. As you can see, every element of A is also an element of a B, correct? A, B, C can be found here in B. And there should be at least one element in B that does not contain in A or that cannot be found in A. 
and those are the elements D and E. Therefore, A is said to be proper subset of B. Alright? So, take note, class, that a null or an empty set is a subset of every set. Okay? So, if we have set A equals 1, therefore, the subset are empty set and 1. There's always an empty set or empty set is always a subset in every set. Okay? For you to further understand this one, we have here the diagram. So here, the diagram shows that every element of A is in the universal set. So here is our A, set A, and this is our universal or universe that contains all the elements that are in A. We also have here the diagram that shows that B is a proper subset of A. Okay, As you can see, B here, all the elements of B, which are 2 and 4, can be found in A. Right? And there is at least one element in A that is not in B. And those are 1 and 3. Therefore, B is a proper subset of A. Okay, and lastly, we also have what we call the disjoint sets. Okay, by the, by the meaning itself, disjoint, they are not joint. Okay, so if we have here the set A and the set E, meaning to say if this is disjoint, they have no elements in common. Okay, just like in our example, the members or the elements of A are 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the members of E are 5, 6, 7. As you can see, they don't have any element in common. Let's now move on to our second topic, operations on sets. The union, intersection, difference, and complement. So we have here the union that states that A is a union of B equals X such that X is an element of A or X is an element of B. It simply means a class that these are all the elements in A and B. Okay? So, if our A here, if the element of A is 1 and the element of B is 2, the union of that or the combination of that, that's why it's called union, is 1 and 2. A union B equals 1 and 2. Okay? So, let's have here other examples. So, here is our universal set, A, B, and C. What is the union of A and B? So, just combine all the elements in A and B. But make sure that you list the elements only once. Okay? Same way with B, union C. Okay? Just combine them. And here, as you can see, we have here A union B union C. So, we need to find first the one inside the grouping symbol, which is parenthesis. So, A union B is this one, okay? And combine that to C, the answer is this, okay? The combination of the three. How about when we say intersection? When we say intersection class, these are the elements that A and B have in common okay so it's denoted as a inverted u b or a intersection b is equal to x such that x is an element of a and x is an element of b also class when you hear the word and it per it is pertaining to intersection and as for or it denotes union okay so going back here, for example, A, intersection B. So, what are the elements that A and B have in common? So, in this given example, we have only U. Okay? So, that's the only element that A and B has in common. And as for B, intersection C, just find or look for the element that they have in common. And same way here. As you can see, again, we need to find first the one inside the parenthesis, A, union B. So, unite first or combine first the A and B. 
and then after combining those, get now the intersection or the similarity of the two. So the answer here is B R K. The third one is what we call the difference. Okay. So we have here a minus b is equal to x such that x is an element of a and x is not an element of b. Meaning to say we only have to find all the elements in a that are not in b. Or simply put in a only. Okay. So if we have here same example a minus b. Okay. So what are the elements of a that are not in b? So the answer is o and a can you see that because u can be found in b okay so vice versa b minus a what are the elements in b that are not in a b r c k and c minus b is s and n okay again for here it's a only b only and then c only lastly we have what we call complement when we say complement class, it's denoted as this one, that this one is the symbol, it's like an apostrophe, okay, that's pertaining to complement. Here, a complement is equal to x such that x is an element of universal set and x is not an element of a. Meaning to say, if we have our universal set, this one is our universal set, right, and this one is our set a. We have to find all the elements that are in the universal set but not in A. So if the difference is here in the difference, it's A only here in the complement except A. All the elements except A. Okay, so here A complement, when we say complement class, we need to always look on the universal set okay so it's just like universal set minus a so what are those elements that are in the universal set and not in the set a so we will be removing o a and u here from the universal set so therefore a complement is s and b r c k same way with b so just subtract the universal set to our set B. So this is the answer, O, S, and A. And lastly, again, let's answer first A, intersection B. So what do they have in common? So we have here only U, okay? So the complement now of U is all of these elements except U. So the answer is this. Did you get that? So now, kindly answer your assignment. Okay, just pause this one for you to see it. 15 items. Alright, be ready with our synchronous class next meeting. Thank you.